Okay, what's going on folks? Welcome to another episode. So I'm here at Detroit Lake right in early um, Early April. I'm trying to go after Kokanee. Uh, I had a good report yesterday that uh, uh, My friend limited out and um, he did really well. So I'm gonna try to get some today. I love Kokanee Probably one of my favorite fish to eat um, So let's not waste any time. Let's uh, get on over there and uh, start trolling. Tell you what guys, it is cold right now. It's about 31 degrees with a wind chill. Brr. Alright, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna go crazy and just do uh, two beanies. <laughs> okay, so let me show you my setup. Okay, on this rod, I have a 10 pound mono line, uh, seven, so six, seven foot kokanee rod, and um, I have a flasher. Um, that's a wedding ring imitation I made myself. Uh, two number four hooks, those are the uh, Gamagatsu um, drop shot hooks, okay? And then for my weight, I have a slider here that's gonna have a three ounce weight on there. These fish are about 40 to 50 feet. So I'm gonna use a three ounce and I'm gonna go back about 60, 70 feet. And that should get me to the right depth. I also brought some corn and some power bait uh, honey worms. So for the scent, I have a uh, night crawler and garlic plus. And there is my three ounce disc sinker. Okay, so there is a power bait. Uh, I'm gonna use two of them and I'm gonna tear them apart and I'm gonna put them one on each hook. Okay, so that's what's gonna look like right there. And I'm gonna add some garlic scent to it. I'm just gonna lather that up. When you put on the scent, man, don't be shy. Just go crazy with it. The more scent, the better. You wanna leave that uh, scent trail, you know, really powerful and really long. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna put some scent on my flasher. That thing's gonna swing back and forth, side to side, so it's gonna give out a lot of scent. Okay, so that's my rig right there. I got the weight, um, flasher, and my lure. Okay, so I got one rod out, and that's back, I let out about 60 uh, foot of line. Okay, so for my second rod, I have a uh, two ounce weight. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter. I'm gonna put this one further back and try different depths, and a flasher, and I'm using an apex um, and tip with corn and for the scent on this one. I'm using night crawlers Okay guys, so I'm gonna cook these fish if I catch one and so I got dr. Pepper Maggie seasoning liquid smoke black pepper honey and I got this uh, this bomb chili. Um, it's a spice chili, spicy chili sprinkle. Okay, what's in it? I just bought it at the store the other day. Uh, shallots, dried red chili, salt, flavor enhancer, monosodium glutamate. Oh, uh, disodium five, insulinate, and disodium five guanylate. What the heck are those? Sounds pretty bad. Oh well, let's eat it. And I'm just gonna put it right in this grill, okay? So that's the plan for today, guys. Um, catch some kokanee and cook it. But I don't know, uh, it, we're at about 30 minutes right now, um, trolling. So far, no action, but it is pretty early in the morning. Uh, we'll just keep on going and see if we can get some. Really nice day. The wind is supposed to pick up to about nine, 10 miles per hour. That's not too bad. Oh, I saw a jump over there. I was just there too. That was at the surface. I don't think that was a kokanee. I think that was a trout. And I don't want no trout today. I just want kokanee. Okay, let's put everything in here. We got Dr. Pepper. Oh, easy now. Dr. 
pepper. Right there, just like that. Hopefully the uh, the bite turns on when the sun comes up, when the sun hits the water. Okay, now for the honey. Oh, that's really thick honey. This is raw organic honey. Right there. I think that's good enough. It's probably good enough. Liquid smoke, a little bit goes a long ways. Soy sauce. Good enough. And some of this chili. There, oh man, that's too much. Holy cow. Oh well. <laughs> it's gonna be spicy. Okay. There it is. Let's mix that up with the honey. There it is. Good, huh, guys? The only thing we're missing is uh, kokanee. So let's catch some fish. Where are you at, fish? Give me a bite. Okay, folks, from what I saw on the graph, they are like beyond 50 feet. So I'm gonna switch out the two ounce. I'm gonna use the three ounce instead. That way I can get deeper and try to reach them. Okay, there we go. I'm going at about 1.4 miles per hour. So that one, see this one is 60, is it? I can't remember. 62, so I'm gonna go about 75 on this one. Okay, actually I'm gonna go 80. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah, fish on, there we go. Yep, fish on. Here we go, folks. First fish of the day, yes. Yes. So this one, I actually let out more line. It was actually 101 foot back. And this has a three ounce. So when I got deeper, I got this bite. Very awesome. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a little baby. It's a little baby. Oh yes, right there. First fish of the day, folks. Okay. Yep. Okay, I gotta calm this guy down so I can show you guys. Okay, okay, come on. I'll take care of you. I'll take care of you. Okay. There it is. So he took that apex with the corn. Cool. There it is, guys. Isn't that a beautiful fish? First kokanee of the day, of this year, actually. Very nice. Let's fillet him and marinate it. Okay, let's fillet this kokanee. Man, that is just beautiful, beautiful meat right there. Okay, there it is. Man, is that awesome right there, guys? Look at that. Perfect red meat. Love it. Landlocked salmon, man. Delicious. So, there it is. Filet number two. Okay, let's let that marinate for a little bit. And you guys see that smoke right there? On the grill? All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook that uh, kokanee while I'm trolling. The grill's going pretty good. 
Actually, let me, let me go about another five more minutes on that grill because uh, it's a brand new grill. I want to burn off the uh, chemical smell in there. That's why I smoke and I put wood chips in there. I want to get it seasoned a little bit before I cook it for the first time. Okay, I think we can put the uh, fish on through the grill now. Okay, folks, so my kokanee is cooking right there. <laughs> Looks really good. Do I got another one? I don't know if I have another one yet. I, I thought I had a bite. Feels kind of heavy coming. Oh no. I had a bite on this apex. Boy, this apex working really well. I missed it. Dang it. Fish on, guys. It was pretty small. I uh, I thought it was just a weight, but it is a fish. Okay, there we go. Wait, that's a soft trout. That's a trout. Uh, yeah, that's a stock trout, actually. I don't want no stock trout. Okay, so that's a stock trout. We don't want that one. Okay. Fresh fish. Let's see if I can troll and eat at the same time. <laughs> Woo. Here we go. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Seasoning didn't go in the meat because I only marinated for about 20 minutes, but still. Mm. Mm. Wow. Think. I think next time if I were to kind of baste it while it's cooking, I think that might be a good idea. But it's kind of hard to do that while you're trolling. Wow. This is going to go. Look how red that meat is right there. Most people don't like the skin, but actually that's my favorite part of fish. Mmm, yeah. It was kind of crispy, crunchy, salty. thing with these fish is the bone is pretty soft and you can just at least I eat everything and just chew it down mm. wow guys Eight forty three AM Kokanee for breakfast. <laughs> Love it. That was awesome. 
Okay, now we can concentrate on fishing, hopefully. So, the bite has been kind of slowed down. I had one hit over here um, between Piety and the mainland. So I'm gonna try to uh, swing by there and see if I can uh, hook into more fish. I'm marking them on the sonar, I can see them. And they're just like scattered all, <clears throat> all across a water column from uh, 30 feet down to uh, 90, 100 feet. So, I don't know, it's kinda kind of slow now. I was hoping uh, the bite would pick up when the sun comes out. But so far, it's pretty slow. Well folks, it's been about two and a half hours. The only coconut I caught, I just ate. <laughs> and the bite has slowed down a lot. It kind of, like I had one fish on right away and and then some bites but that was it so yeah it's been a it's been a tough day so far okay folks so this green one isn't working um it hasn't been getting any bites so i'm gonna switch and i'm gonna use this uh this pink one right here right there Oh, finally guys fish on finally I hope that's a coconut not a trout because I don't want no trout I'm gonna mark this spot I hope that's not a trout man it is really slow right now voted one coke one rainbow this one feels good oh Oh, he might be a good one. I hope it's not some large uh, holdover trout. Oh, I can see the flash, that silver flash. Oh, that's a good one. I need a net. That's a good one. Oh, yes. Right there. Sorry about that. I had the uh, camera at the wrong angle. But, oh man, nice. So that one again, guys, I got it on the apex. That's pretty cool. So all the fish today I got on this apex. That's pretty interesting. There it is. Okay, this one I'm taking home. Well folks, super gorgeous day, huh? Detroit Lake, Oregon. Pretty calm right now. I thought it was going to be windy. The forecast was nine to, uh, I think 12 miles per hour, but it's pretty calm right now. It's pretty awesome. I haven't seen too many people boating fish. We're all kind of trolling around and staring at each other. I thought it was gonna be a good day. The bite um, started off right away, but and then they just shut off. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they knew that I ate his friend and <laughs> they don't want to um, bite the lure anymore. I think they're afraid now. Okay, I got another one, guys. Got another one. I was putting the other... Here we go, this is number three. Well, actually four if you count the rainbow. But that rainbow doesn't count. Oh, that's a nice one. 
That's a nice one. Yeah, there it is, number three, guys. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so that guy I got on Brad's cut plug. Okay, cool. So, working our way up. Well, folks, that's about it. I'm gonna get on out of here. So I got two fish to take home. It's not too bad. Uh, they're pretty good size. They're about, I think they're about 13 inches. So yeah, not a bad day. Kind of slow, but you know, it just feels really good to be back in Oregon, <laughs> to be fishing again. It feels awesome. I love this lake. Um, I'm definitely gonna be coming back. So this is not over yet. But hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you uh, next time. Have fun fishing. Tight lines.